Hey guys, I got another wonderful Tech Knit with Productions videos and we are going to go over how to order a TG01 in this video. It's a pretty simple thing to do but can be kind of complicated on their website so I felt that I should show my viewers you how to do this. So we're going to go over it quick and I'm just going to jump right to it guys. Alright guys, I'm going to take a seat and we're going to jump right here on Google, jump over to on screen and first thing you can type in is just type in HP and it will pop up HP site. I wouldn't go to any of these ad sites. Uh, I know it says add right here. I try to go to this one down here. It says hp.com. Some of the ad sites may take you to a site that is not HP and I don't want to get in trouble for leading you wrong. I will have a link in the description down below to the HP site. It's a pretty simple type in if you can't Google it. So guys, the first thing I'm going to do is come up to this search bar and I'm just going to put TG01 in the top and hit enter. And it's going to roll out some TG01s. It's taking its sweet time, but of course, zero results because Tech Nitwit, did you not type GG01 in? Uh, it's, see the site, there's like four or five sites all integrated into HP sites and it makes things very difficult. So let's see here. Let's go to the HP store and see if it actually takes me to the correct site. Yes. So if you see this up here, and it, it's pretty much hp.com, and I mean, you guys can see this right here. Looks like the same website, but if you come up here and type in TG01, it should show us, T there we go. The second time I typed it in and it just decided to do it. So I don't know why HP site is so goofy at times, but if you can learn to work with it, it is pretty easy to order stuff off of. Right now, I would prefer over the 11th gen TGs, but you can get an i5 or i7 11th gen in there pretty good. The i9s have bombed, Intel has tried to fix them. That's not what this video is about. But uh, if you're looking at a TG and you got that, that price range, about eight, 900 bucks to spend, I would try to get over a 1660 Ti, maybe a 20 series or even a 30 series. So let's see if they have anything in that ballpark. They do got a 1650 Super. If that's what you have to settle for and that's all the money you have, go ahead and buy that. Of course, try to get an i5 or a Ryzen, you know, uh, fifth gen, which if I come right here and I do customize and buy, this should have the Ryzen's available. So I went and customize and buy, and it's going to change the price right here, and it's got a ship's on date, or sometimes it'll have a ship by date and a bulk date. If this computer dis disappears, it will pop back up eventually, and it's not going to take months. It's usually a couple days. Um, if you search on HP's website, they pop up and pop off sometimes with a little bit different parts, a little bit of a different configuration, a different number behind them, but the TGs do pop back up. So if you come here, this is the 5th gen Ryzen 3. This is, uh, sorry, the 5000. It's really the 4th gen, but I'm not going to get into semantics with that. Uh, you can, of course, pick your cores. You can get an 8 core for 250, but the Ryzen 3, blah, 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 blah. Uh, God, all these numbers are Jack and Tech Nitwit up. The Ryzen 3 5300 Golf, pretty good processor. It would do definitely do some good gaming. Right here, you could select some memory. You could just go with 2666 and get a dual kit, and then you don't have to worry that uh, HP isn't going to send you two 4X gigs like they say they're going to on their site, and a lot of people find out they just send a single 8 gig stick. With gaming in these machines, you'd really want to run dual channel. It's like a garden hose. You got one garden hose or you got two garden hoses of the same size. You get more throughput through dual garden hoses. One other thing I would talk about is if it allows you to select the 400 watt power supply, which sometimes it does. This one is not allowing me to. You can go and get like a 1660 Super and that's a, it's a pretty nice gaming machine. Um, this is going to allow you with the 400 watt power supply. So if you ordered this machine that you see right here, this thing would allow you to put up into a 2060 Super or a 3060 Ti. Anything past that, you're going to want the 500 watt power supply. I do have a video on the channel how to do that and how to order that. Uh, if you just look under my videos and look HP power supply, uh, it shows and walks, shows you and walks you through on how to order that supply. So uh, real quick, you just add to cart and it's going to add the cart up here. And then you can do view cart and check out. And then pretty much you're going to enter your information in and, you know, it will check you out. If you do get some coupon codes, this is where you would enter it. And you can do standard two to six business days. The last TG that I ordered, it said two to six business days. It took about two weeks. Sometimes they get it 
sometimes you'll get it shorter, sometimes you'll get it longer. It all depends on how HP is doing with their shipping and, and product. But that's pretty much it. Also, there's an estimated ship by date right here. Usually this will show up when you actually look at the product. So it's not showing up here, but if I go to customize and buy, it will show right here, ships on 7, July 7th, you know, July 7th, July 22nd of 2012. So let's go and look at one of the other PCs really quick. So let's just go to this TG, the TG-01-1070. It's not a bad uh, computer for 879. Yeah, the date's not showing up here. Sometimes there's a date that will show up in here, but you're gonna have to go to customize and buy. And then it does the ship on date right here. This computer disappears, just be aware that they will pop up other computers in a couple days. That's really all the info you need to know about ordering of HP off of the HP site. If you're gonna look at Amazon or anything like that, just be aware of two things. I'm not gonna show it because uh, I'm showing the HP site, but be aware of the computer being refurbished. You know, if you look at this computer and it's 900 bucks on HP, 900 bucks on Walmart or 900 bucks on Best Buy, then you go to Amazon and it's 600 bucks. Just be aware it's probably gonna be a refurb and it's probably gonna be sold by somebody that's not qualified to sell from HP. So if you're gonna buy off Amazon, make sure that those two things align, that it has a warranty and that it's sold by somebody that is a licensed HP dealer. I am not gonna get into how to do that, but you can Google their name and do some research and possibly find that out later. But anyways, guys, this was a Tech Knitwit video. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you guys for all the views and comments and likes.